Hey, and welcome to module number two. We're going to talk about getting your brand ready for Facebook. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. So video number four is going to be about company slogans that stick. If you don't already have a company slogan, it might be good to start creating one because when somebody leaves your Facebook page or they come to it, you want to be remembered by something that is there to solve their problems, is there for them, and things like that. So whenever they have that problem, they're going to think about you. So we're going to talk about that in video number four. Number five, we're going to talk about tapping into the subconscious mind with colors. Did you know that the colors of your logo and the colors that you use on your website create an environment and a feel? And if you use the wrong colors that are really not related to your niche, then you can create a totally different feel and environment. So you want to make sure that you're using the right colors and we actually go deep into different colors, how to figure out what the different colors mean and go about doing that. So you have an idea of creating a game plan for branding wise. Then we go to video number six, which is creating your logo. If you don't have a logo, then this is going to be great for you. If you do have a logo, then this is still going to be great information about how to minimize your logo costs. And I'm going to actually show you how you can create a logo and get other people to do it for you legitimately less than five to $20. And I know that's a big reduction in terms of what most of you are used to. Most of you are used to hiring a logo designer for about $100, $200, or $300 just to get that done. So I'm going to show you how to get it professionally created. You don't have to worry about, oh, is this logo going to be not very professional? You don't have to worry about that. So there is a way to get that done. Then we talk about, in video number seven, upgrading your logo if you have old logos and graphics. Because if your old logo is not up to date, it looks really old, then that's what people are going to think when they think of your company. So that's the perceived value that you put on your company if you have an older logo. And of course, if your logo is fuzzy or it's outdated and you want to upgrade it, I'll show you how to do that. And that brings us to video number eight, which is branding your company by using mascots. This is not necessarily a have to, but it helps if you have mascots, especially if you're making videos online, you're trying to brand your specific videos with mascots or even use mascots that can relate specifically to your demographics. So with that said, let's jump right in.